Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day out there, America. Uh, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about uh, how the uh, young people uh, in the cell phone industry is taking advantage of us poor old people. And what they're doing, and they don't realize what they're doing, uh, the senior citizens are the fastest growing uh, population out there pretty much, and uh, at least I said so. And, uh, and so uh, they're neglecting us for all the young people in their cell phones. They walk around with their smartphones and their little thumbs are flipping and flopping like that. They're walking down, can't see where they're going. The minute you walk up to somebody and talk to them, their phone will ring and they'll just ignore you and answer their phone because the phone's more important than anything else, stuff like that. And uh, and it's, it's not just that, it's the cable TV, the satellite TV, and all of that stuff, and even into the restaurants. Uh, the print, fine print's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, cramming more stuff in there. You try to go on your TV guide and see what it is. You got to go get your glasses and put them on. The print's so fine, it rolls through so fast you can't hardly read what it is. Stuff like that. It just ain't fair. You need to slow things down and make the print a little bit bigger for us older folks and. I'm complaining about it, and I hope I'll get the Jim Bob bump on it and get something done about it. Maybe Congress, a bunch of old farts up there in Congress, maybe they'll do something about it. I don't know. But anyhow, I was in the restaurant the other day, and uh, one of them fast food places, and uh, Dad Gum went up there to order, and I looked up there on the menu. You know, they had a nice little uh, fancy computerized menu up there, and I was trying to read the menu. And uh, before I could read it, a damn page flipped and it went to another subject or something or other. I couldn't even read what it was. I told the girl over there, I said, I was going to order, but it went away. I can't tell you what I want. And uh, so she handed me one of them paper ones. And I looked on there and it stayed still. So I ordered me up some uh, barbecue ribs. And uh, I've got to say, it's pretty good ribs at that place over there. It's in Chaplin. And, uh, you know, I went over there and, uh, and uh, that wasn't the only place. And uh, later on, I had to go down on a trip on the highway down on the interstate. And I pulled off on one of them resto places there. And I wanted to get me one of them uh, cappuccino things, you know, one of them uh, mochas. And like, I like that mocha stuff. And uh, so I went up there and the same damn thing. About the time I was trying to read the menu, it just flipped on off and it was going somewhere else. And it wasn't big enough to read to begin with. And uh, I, I guess this ain't right. You got to stop this stuff. Got to slow down, people. Look, uh, you know, you get more orders if people can read them. You know, it's just common sense. You dead gum marketing people ought to have enough sense to know that. If I can't read the menu, I'm liable to get mad and leave. Old people will get mad and just go to the hell with you. I'll go somewhere else where they got a paper menu and I can read it. So if you're going to have the menus up there, just don't have them flipping the pages on people. So they can't see what's going on, you know, and uh, that's what I got to say about it. The Jim Bob is out.